Hello, 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 everybody. Second version of this uh, video. We're going live now with a trading bot against real life money. Just want to show you what we got. First, if you're interested in these topics, you want to learn how to do it, just sign up over at quantlabs.net slash book. Get signed up here. Give us your info, name, and details. We'll get you a bunch of books and you'll be put into our uh, newsletter. And we don't spam as well. Now, what I'm going to be talking about for the ultimate is if you want to learn this stuff, you've got a three-year term membership right now. Today, maybe la tomorrow might be the last day. Happy Halloween as well. Um, so if you want to get on on that, just come over to the store at quantlabs.net and look for anything that says elite. You'll be able to get details here. Or if you want to really feel risky, jump on the deal right here. All right, so enough of that. Like I said, we got a new bot happening. Here's some of the activity that I posted this morning. I'm gonna show you the spreadsheet. Uh, we had this little guy right here. I'm gonna show you as well, that's a console. These are the um, overall of the uh, database with Redis. Here we have a couple things. Now I'm using Binance uh, Exchange. Uh, they're probably one of the larger ones, consistently larger is a better one, cleaner one, I, I hope. So we have here uh, the bot trades uh, on the phone. Uh, I have an iPhone, so that's the Binance app synced up. These two right here are the um, balance of the account so far. Now, I remember I'm just starting out, so we're going real easy, no high risk stuff. And then also this is from cointracking.info, that their app as well. So I'm able to uh, be able to look at how the bot's doing on the go. Here is the actual performance. I'm still trying to figure out what this measurement is. If it's seven days, 24 hours, I'm pretty sure it's not 24 hours. But that's still pretty good. Uh, and these are the unrealized gains and losses. We're, we started uh, a couple of months ago at around... 300 bucks or something so it's gone up a little bit now we're live trading i'll be adding the us dollar binance at some point once i'm happy with the results of the live trading here on binance so here on binance the website we have the ability to track uh, all our orders okay so i have here in the right here the binance app running on my mac I know there's a Windows version. I'm having problems with that, syncing up, so don't blame me. Um, but uh, I'm able to get it running both on the iPhone and Mac, no problem. So these are the trades happening right now. Um, if I refresh, I'll get the latest ones. Uh, you can see here that it is oscillating with Adam against Bitcoin. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. So... As I said, we also have third-party tracking available now. Uh, this is it on cointracking.info. Um, right now, we have about $400 to keep it small. I always recommend people that are getting into bots uh, with, with a really tiny amount and scale up once you start to get more confident with the performance of it. So let's get into the fun stuff. Um, so, oh, before I forget... Now, over here in the order history, just under order, this is the old uh, version of the website on Binance. But all you got to do here is click on this little guy, export order history. That will enable you to check out your overall uh, spreadsheet in Excel, how, how are things going uh, with uh, the total. So one thing I need to mention here about this, so for an order... So what I like about it. Now, I will tell you, I don't give a rat's ass what you do with back testing or whatever, on whatever um, exchange or broker you're gonna trade on. You need to factor in your commission or your fee. Here it's very small. Okay, how it works if you're new to it. I'm buying Bitcoin. They always bill everything in BNB, Binance Coin, which is the uh, coin for Binance. And then we have the net on the total when you net out that. Now, this is where you can get kind of messed up here. Um, so you can see here the order just got filled. That's the bot. Um, so 
what one thing you can get messed up here is when you uh, calculate your minimum order or whatever you want, you have to, um, uh, when you're starting out like I am, you always got to factor in the commission fee. Um, and then when you sell it off, you, you try to sell off the commission fee as well. Um, but once you have a bigger account, like maybe a thousand or two thousand, a couple thousand dollars, I don't think you have to worry about the commission fee when you place the orders. But when you do scale up the order sizes, you may have to worry about it. And when you are left done with the buy and sell on that so-called position, as you call it, like I'm trying to do here, um, what will happen is um, your your uh, you, you're going to have what they call dust in each crypto coin, very tiny amounts. And it's just because of the discrepancy between when you buy and sell, that there's still going to be a tiny amount of crypto left over uh, in that coin. So be aware of that as well. It's called dust. So again, uh, commission fees, uh, really, really important. But here in BNB or Binance is very small, very negligible. But you still, when you start out, you still... In your early days, you still got to be aware of it. Okay, so let's go over to the big old uh, app here. Now, let me just give you a walkthrough if you're new to, to this. There's a bunch of markets you can um, play around in. We have the BNB markets, the Bitcoin market. We have the alts market. I'll show you that in a minute. We have also the, I call it the tether market, which is the U.S. dollar tether market. Um, here we have USD. USDC. Um, we also have PAX. So these are the um, coins, stable coins that are, or uh, quote coins that are uh, quoted that are linked up to the US dollar as best as you can. Uh, also in the alts market, uh, these are still experimental. Most of it's going to be Ethereum. We also have XRP and then we also have TRX, which is Tron. Now, let, let, me, let me talk about how I'm doing the bot development because this is all new. Um, I'm putting in minimum orders. So uh, each bet, I'm trying to reduce the, um, call it a bet really, um, against the account. So if there's too many losing uh, positions, it's, it minimizes my risk on I'm blowing out the account. So I put in minimum orders uh the, the the best one for opportunity when I say opportunity where if you looked at all the positions I'd say 75% of them will be in Bitcoin in fact I'd say even maybe 90% I don't know but for each right now when you factor in the Bitcoin that you're buying uh, minus the commission fee in BNB the total which will be in, in Bitcoin usually if you're doing minimum orders it's going to be about eight to nine dollars current current today on Halloween happy Halloween and boo 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 to all the kids out there uh, so you gotta factor that in the net well the really best one or BNB is cheap but I've been trying to test the BNB market see if I uh, the same same trading logic same bot same trading rules for all the markets I'm explaining here with BNB didn't take a trade I think it's because of volume so no trades were triggered BTC or Bitcoin is about eight to nine dollars current with the U.S. dollar per trade, uh, and then here in USDT or Tether, you're looking at about ten dollars U.S. to make a minimum trade. So that's not worth even looking at, not worth screwing around with. There is an alternative for that, and that's called Binance U.S., which is a totally separate exchange. Uh, so that will be another bot another day I'll be testing that but I, I do want to get that up and running because I, I I had some decent success with that using the same trading bot that you're seeing here and then of course we have alts so as I said I haven't calculated XRP I think it's minimum ethereum is very low but there's still enough volume there to trade in so if you if you want my opinion you know trade with a, a baby bot I would trade in the Ethereum market first before any other market. And if you feel like you are uh, got some ri richness in your blood, then yeah, do the Bitcoin because that's up to 8 to $9. So that's the markets. Um, 
the charting, uh, let's say in my case, let's see. So we have here some uh, open positions. Uh, let's see where we have here. So if I looked at EOS, Ethereum, a couple of things here, I'm able to see a few things that you cannot get on on uh, the Binance apps and the charting anywhere that I know of, including Coin Market. I think Coin Market Cap will have it on the hourly time frame, the hourly moves. That's something I, I like to see. Uh, I think they do that on purpose uh, so that non programmers can get confused by that. But in this chart, you can see here I break it up by uh, hourly and 24 hours. So these are your top performers right now with a majority uh, just just tanking. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why these trades have not been closed out yet. So we can look at the performance of EOS Ethereum uh, through the through the, 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 the app here. So what was that? Was that, e, was that EOS Ethereum? So we have some Ethereum positions here, quite a few actually. Um, let's check out BNB BTC. So I'll show you one of the Ethereum ones in a minute. So here I'm in Bitcoin markets. We are going to look at BNB BTC. Here you can see it's only up half a percent on a 24 hour basis. I don't think it's even performing currently. Let's see here. Yeah. Well, Binance, it's just barely up 0.01% in the last hour so you're not going to get very much on that so here you can get your five minute hourly uh pretty good stuff we can see quite clearly that the volume has dropped off quite a bit therefore the trade has not properly closed now we have to wait it out until something spikes which you know it could happen and again we have our minute as well we can add in our typical technical analysis stuff. Plus we have our bid and ask here. We're able to do all kinds of crazy stuff with the bid and ask if you follow through on the Python course, which of course is here in the store at quantlabs.net. And uh, just, all you gotta do is just look for the store or Python course. And what I'm showing you will get you behind the scenes on the Python uh, code because Understanding that will make you a better bot developer in Python, of course. And here we can do it with Binance as well. So we can pretty well uh, download time, any timeline that you see here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we have here our depth. Now, this is the thing a lot of uh, brokers uh, will not give you. Maybe me. But... Um, that is, of course, a big, big deal. So, all in all, uh, you can't complain, right? It's uh, kind of working pretty good. And uh, nothing to, to, to go on about, I guess. So, I just want to give you a view of everything that I have now available. Uh, you can see why, if I was to trade Forex plus this... Uh, plus another bought in U.S. dollar on Binance U.S. It can be overwhelming. Even though you have a, a bot running, um, there's still quite a bit to watch here. And as a human, this is all new to me right now, but uh, I'm trying to tweak and make sure we don't have these you know, penny losses here and there. But uh, we can't control the market, right? So that's the way it is. So in... In essence, if you want to learn more about this, go over to quantlabs.net slash book. If you want to get on the three-year deal, you better do it over the next 24 hours. This will be down from three years to two years. And if things continue to be successful, my goal by the end of the month, because today is October 31st, and I'm talking about by the end of November, I want to reduce that term on the elite back to just one year annual. That's it. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. We shall talk to you later, and you have a good day.